What is up guys and welcome back to another Instagram tutorial. Today we want to take a look at this picture right here. Jack Galinsky posted this on his Instagram account um, a little while ago. It was taken by the photographer named Bryant and um, you requested this look a lot. So today I'm going to show you how to recreate this kind of vintage film look once again, really warm tone um, using only your smartphone and the free Lightroom app. Of course, as always, I've also created a preset on exactly this look for you guys. If you want to save some time, feel free to download it. Link is under this video and it's on my website in that all presets pack with over 200 presets. And the cool thing about the pack is that once you get it, you will always get the new presets that I'm pumping out here on this um, YouTube channel. They're automatically updated to the pack. So make sure to check it out. Link is under this video. Of course, subscribe to the channel, hit the notifications bell. And if there's anything else you need from me, such as new requests for new tutorials or just questions in general, always feel free to DM me on Instagram at Stephen Womack is my handle. Now I've said enough, let's jump right into this tutorial. The first thing you want to do, of course, is take your picture and kind of that golden hour just before the sun sets. Um, so it dips everything in a light, warm orange tone. Um, if you can do that, you can take it with your mobile phone. And once you have this shot, we want to open it in the free Lightroom app and start editing. So the first thing we do is open the app and then what you want to do is just boost up the exposure a little bit to around plus 0.25 right here. The contrast we want to boost up to around plus 23 or 22. The highlights you want to pull down to negative 13. The shadows down as well to negative 9. The whites up a little bit to plus 5. And then the blacks all the way down to negative 40 right here. Um, right there or 39 is okay then what you want to do of course is go to curve on the upper right side and i want you to recreate this curve exactly as it is right here so on the bottom left side the shadows we want to pull them down a little bit and then create that really smooth s curve towards the upper right side towards the highlights once you have this copied as it is right here um we are done uh then we go over to color right there and we want to pull down the tint a little bit to around negative four negative three that blue area boost up the vibrance to plus 15 just to add a little more saturation and then we want to pull down the saturation here to negative 21. scroll up hit mix on the upper right side for the red tones we boost up the hue to around plus 30 31 pull down the saturation to negative four pull down the luminance to negative 14 orange tones we boost up the hue to around plus 10 and um, pull down the luminance to negative 26 then we go over to the yellow tones here we want to pull down the hue to negative 18 boost up the saturation to plus 28 and pull down the luminance a little bit to give it a little darker skin tone to around negative 16 make it look a little more tan also the plants in the background make them a little darker and then over here the green tones we boost up the hue to around plus nine now this is really going to affect the plants in the background and the saturation we're going to boost up all the way to plus 59 or 60 and the luminance up to plus 28 right there then we're done with the mix we go to grading on top here for the for the shadows we pull a hue of around 209 saturation up to around 43 and pull down the luminance a little bit to negative five right there maybe saturation down a little more to 41 then we go over to the mid tones here hue 37 that orange yellow tone and then saturation up to 20 nine is perfect for the highlights here the hue to 318 that purple area saturation up just a little bit to around nine and then the luminance all the way down to negative 41 right here then we're done with the grading we go over to the effects we pull down the texture a little bit to negative 30 five right here pull down the clarity as well to negative six or seven dehaze down to negative seven or six as well and then the grain last thing we boost that up a little bit to plus 18 just really subtle not too much and then we are done here and this is it guys here's a before and after and i think we came super close to this 
warm uh, vibe, that film look that we see on Jack Galinsky's picture that was taken by Brian. I hope you're happy with this tutorial. Once again, let me tell you, I've created a preset on exactly this look. If you already have that all presets pack, it's now updated. If you don't, I really recommend that all presets pack because it features over 200 presets already. And the cool thing is that every time I create new presets, they're automatically updated to the pack. So you just have to buy it once and you get a growing, always steady growing preset pack, which is a great deal. Make sure to check it out. The link is under this video. Subscribe, hit the notifications bell, and of course, reach out to me on Instagram, at Stephen Womack is my handle. Anytime you need anything, questions, new requests, or new videos, or just some feedback in general, I'm always really excited to hear from you guys, and I hope I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, thank you for the love, the support. Stay healthy, stay creative. Peace.